Hi everybody, this is Connie, over 70 and still glamorous. I think I'm just going to bum around the house today. It's uh, Saturday, about 12 in the afternoon. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I thought I'd say, uh, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves, be grateful, be thankful, be blessed, and all those goodies that you deserve. My relaxing clothes, take a look. Flip flops. And yes, I put the bling on them myself. Little hot glue gun. I'm telling you, last Christmas I went crazy with the hot glue and the glitter and the bling. But, uh, you know, when it's winter time and I don't really like to go outside in the cold wind and everything else, uh, it really was helpful to, buy, to take up some of my time. So, uh, if you're feeling bored or something, you know, the 99 cent store, the dollar store, it's only a buck for every little item that you need. So, uh, be creative. Have some fun. No, it's not. It's Monday. <laughs> I make one or two videos at a time, so that's why I get my days confused. <laughs> and by the way, when I went to Walmart a few days ago, uh, I actually bought three new pieces. I'm going to show them to you right now. Here we go. Here's two of them. A long sleeve that you saw in my video the other day. And this one has the same white long sleeve, but the cover up I bought the same day with some of my vintage jewelry there. I'll probably keep it for Thanksgiving. Who knows? Okay, I thought of something I could show you. I'm going to cook a couple of my uh, vegetables. I like to have things extra in the refrigerator saves me a lot of time. First I have my uh, yams. This is one yam that I cut in four pieces. Be careful when you're cutting. I add a little bit of water, throw it in the microwave for maybe 15-20 minutes and it's done. I just put a plate on it like that. Okay. Same with my squash. Of course, this is a little bigger squash, but I'll do uh, the double bowl technique. I'll have a, a bowl on top of there, and I'll put it in there for 20 minutes. After both of those particular dishes are cooked, I add a little butter, just a dab, and maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Now, here's something I did before last year. Because my neighbor gave me so many, I think they're kumquats, and when you open them up, which I'll do for you right now, as soon as I get a knife. When you open them up, they look like this, and there's lots of little seeds in there. But I like them. I kind of let it melt in my mouth. Sometimes I swallow the seeds. Quite a bit of seed. And sometimes I won't. I think I've eaten the skin also. But it's got a little bit uh, more of a little bittersweet taste to it. But actually not too bad. Okay. So what I did was I emptied them all out of their little pouches. That's a good one. I mashed them up, I put them in here. Let me tell you something about this fruit. It really uh, works well in your colon, if you get my drift.
And when I mashed these together, I added a little bit of strawberry jam, any strawberry jam. Or last year I used honey, whatever suits your fancy. And then he gave me what I think are persimmons. No, they're not tomatoes, they're persimmons. And uh, I haven't tried one yet. Maybe you can tell me uh, what you do with them. But uh, I'll figure it out later today. I really like that kumquat with the skin on it. Now, now, now these vegetables or fruits are pretty much homegrown, especially those two fruits. So uh, nothing bad in them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have those things ready for my mom, uh, get it all together, and we'll sit down and have something to eat. Oh, and one last thing, very important. Add water in the bowl before you put the vegetables in there, okay? And waste not, want not. If you save the uh, squash seeds, let them dry out. After they're dried out, put them in the oven, a little bit of salt, and you got something nice to munch on while you're watching television. <laughs> See what I mean? I've got a bunch. Big old bowl. And this was full, forget the topper here, all the way up to the top to make that one jar of jam. So without the skins. Kind of wish now I hadn't thrown the skins away because that last one that I ate was pretty darn good. <laughs> okay, once again, bon appetit. This is Connie, over 70 and still glamorous. Have a great Monday. Wow, those persimmons taste like apples and that other fruit was a guava.